welcome to my youtube channel kadam academy dear friend we are going to start with the python for mechanical engineers under this videos number of videos you will clear the python basic python what the python simple programming related to mechanical engineering here we will start with today's lecture with the, what is the computer this first session on basic introduction related to computer what is computer the word computer is derived from compute which means to calculate a computer is an electronic device which accept data from a user and it processes the data and calculation specified by the user user kya karta hai user will be given some process data he will do and generate the an output computer perform these operations with speed and accuracy using certain hardware and software hardware is visible physical element of a computer and software consist of written set of instruction used to control hardware friend dosto what is the computer we have to learn the picture shows the various components of modern computer system is the input devices second is the central processing unit where it will be cpu caller with the memory unit and last one is the output this is the total devices for the computer and this hardware of a computer system isme kya hota hai isme hota hai it consist of three main components is input output units our devices our central processing unit our devices and memory unit this input output devices are what are those we'll see here the user interact with the computer using various input or output devices or units we kya hota hai what will happen here units can be given to computer using input devices such as keyboard mouse these are the input devices the input unit of computer in convert data that it accept from the user into form of understandable byte and as soon as computer receives the input it is processed and sent to its output device monitors printers etc are the example for the output devices of computer these are the input devices here these are the some transferring devices and these are the output devices printer monitor okay audio or these are the big printer okay central processing unit next is the cpu the cpu is the one of the most important parts of a computer it handles processing of a data and consists of an arithmetic logic unit a l u and control unit the alu performs all operations on the input data whatever the input data humne diya hai that will be it will get to the arithmetic this logic unit it will do the operations and control it in unit directs the computer memory and input and output devices respond to the instruction received from the program friend this cpu central processing unit you can visualize with this all the memory or chips are shown to you for the cpu intel or amd these are the memory devices okay. our central processing unit with the this is for the apple company a microprocessor Microsoft AMD company these are the glimpses for the memory unit or CPU the function of memory unit is to store program that microprocessor or the memory unit is to what is the function to store programs and data the unit is compilation of numerous storage cells and each cell can store one bit of information these cells are processed in a group of a fixed sizes of units called words 
and they never read or write as a individual cells the computer's memory system can be divided into following three groups what are those groups first is the internal memory primary memory and secondary memory in internal memory it refers to a set of registers confined to the cpu the number of registers are confined to cpu and these registers hold temporary results when computation is in progress in second number primary memory that primary memory what is a it it is a storage area it is a main storage area in which all the programs are executed all the programs and data must be stored in primary memory for a speedy execution for speedy execution and third is a secondary memory it is also known as external memory or storage memory the programs and data are stored here for long term just like hard disk floppy disk cds dvds magnetic tapes are different forms of the secondary memory you can see the pictures of this secondary storage devices friends dosto the overview of programming languages till now we learned the computer what is computer and programming languages we are going to study here so computer program is a set of instructions which performs a specific task when executed by computer computer program are commonly known as software and the instructions in a program tell a computer what to do and these instruction can be written in three types of programming languages how many language three types okay first is the machine language second is the assembly language and third one is the high level language the three type of the language are there in machine language what will happen computer is an electronic machine already we have discussed humne already discuss kiya hai what is the which can understand this computer machine electronic machine can understand the instruction written in binary form binary means what either zero or either one okay there must be any zero or one when we type it so that will be understood by the that machine a program written in zeros and ones is called machine language program written in zeros or ones it called machine language while a computer easily understand this language it's very easy to understand for a computer but it is difficult to humans what humans to write the instruction in terms of zeros and ones how see this is the consider one example i will show you one example A series of numbers such as 0011 or 1000 or 1010 these are the instruction written in machine language so what is the actual meaning of this the instruction implies addition number stored at location 8 This is the number eight represent one zero zero zero, and another number stored at location ten one zero one zero means ten number will stored like this in a machine language. Storing the results at location eight one zero zero zero. Here binary code is zero zero one one stand for addition. So this number when we write one zero 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 one one and one zero one zero that will be the meaning is what. 8 plus 10 is equal to 18. It will show the 18. And where is the location? Like this, the binary code or in machine language. What is assembly language? Assembly language form a last example already where for machine language. We know that it is difficult to write, read, and communicate or change a program written in machine language for humans because you can assume. Zero one zero one one zero number of numbers are there. How can where it is starting, where it is closing? It is not easy to understand. It is not easy to change the program. Hence, the need to create another more convenient language arose. This convenient language is nothing but the assembly language, which was developed subsequently. Machine operations are represented by mnemonic. 
codes which will be understandable or remember easy to remember yaad karne ke liye bahut easy hai aisa kuch words rahe hai that is the ad a double d or a m u l and symbolic names that specify the memory address us address pe wo save hota hai to consider the following example just like example i will show you m o v x comma capital x comma space 10 M O V Y comma S two zero A double D X Y C R. This example for M O V X comma ten means what? Here the menu make M O V indicates an operation to store the value variable X as a ten. This will nothing but the shows the where where to store X as a ten. Next, y is the twenty, and add x and y. So this add implies addition of the contents of variable x and y, and finally storing the result is variable x itself. So since computers cannot understand the assembly language, program called assembler. What assembler is used to translate the assembly language programs into equivalent machine. language programs so friend third one is the high level language what are the high level languages these are very much easier to write than the low level languages because these programs written in this are similar to instruction written in english language like in english language hum log jaise baat karte hain what we are talking in english similarly we are writing the the our is high level language here high does not imply that the language is complicated it means the language is more problem oriented okay generally high languages are platform independent platform independent so what is the platform independent means what this means that one can write a program in a high level language and run it on different types of machines any that may be windows that may be macintosh or that may be linux or that may be ubuntu or very different type of machines it will be easily run instructions written in high level languages are called statements instruction written in the high level languages are statements for example a statement to calculate a square of a number can be written in high level languages are Square is equal to number into number. This is the instruction is written in high-level language. So there are many high-level languages. The selection of language is based on the purpose it is expected to fulfill. A program written in high languages is called source code or source program. Source code or source program in high-level language. Okay. What will happen? The process of execution of program written in high-level language. how it is there the c in step 1 an interpreter or compiler is used to translate a program written in high level language into equivalent machine code for execution okay so in step 2 a linker is used to combine the object code and the code stored in libraries into machine language i will show you just read it carefully Finally, loader the machine language code generated in step two is executed. See here, this figure for high language language how it is work. Source code the program we are written. Okay, it will come to the compiler. It creates the object code. Compiler will create the object code, and after that, linker will link the modules and the libraries of program. What are the supporting? Programming are required, or the sub programming are required. It will link to this this compiler, uh, this source code, and link with these libraries. And after that, loader loader is execute the program into memory for execution. This is the steps to execute high level language program. Okay, this is actual happening in the computer. Here is the compiler. What is this compiler? This is the compiler here. High level language. It will connect with the machine language. This is, it is a software that translates the program written in high-level language into machine language. 
the compiler are useful for this one okay this compile program is called object code this compile program are called object code or the object code is an executable code which can run as a stand alone code that is it does not need the compiler to be present during the execution okay this will create that after running that code that executable code will be useful to run it independently always did not require the compiler the every programming language such as c c++ and java jo bhi language hai or python or any programming language has its own compiler it is inbuilt that uh, when we install it software okay the interpreter while a compiler converts a whole source code into a equivalent object code or machine code which will be after the work of is a interpreter reads the source code line by line and converts into object code object code that is code understandable to machine so this is the work of interpreter okay conversion of object code and after this uh, this understandable into machine interpreter and after that linker what is the purpose of linker it is a program that links different pro- program modules and libraries what are supporting sub programs uh, that will be link from a single executable program a source code of a program is very large or it can consist of hundred of lines the linker will be connect before this execution of the program all the modules of program and the required libraries are supporting programs are linked together using this software called linker so this is the linker the compiler inter- interpreter linker and lastly this compiled and linked program are called executable code compiled and linked program are called executable code and lastly the loader so what is the loader this is the software used to load and relocate the executable program in main memory during the execution here the source code after this compiler and uh, it will convert into object code that is machine language understandable after it uh, linker will work and the additional file or the library file it will merge it and convert into executable file that is the exe file aapko pata hoga that exe file will be created and that is loader will be stored this what is the purpose of this loader this is software load and relocate relocation of this executable program in the main memory during the execution okay so this is the loader assign the storage space to program in the main memory for the execution so these are the three main uh, this will work like this for the machine language high level language so friend you have to watch the various videos related to python for mechanical engineers so friend if you are not subscribe my channel please subscribe for the updated videos thank you very much